Hello hockey fans, I'm Brittany Tulitz alongside Joey Zakczewski as we preview game one of the first round against the Chicago Wolves. These two teams, an extension of the regular season series, they got together 12 times during the 2017-18 campaign. And for the Ice Dogs and Wolves, they would split that series right down the middle. So Brittany, it's going to be exciting to see what goes into game one. Yeah, both teams got those six wins, but the Wolves squeaked out the lottery cup with those three overtime losses and shootout losses. But in the silver lining in the postseason, there are, when you lose the overtime, you get no points, and the other team gets the win. So the Ice Hawks have that in their favor going into tonight's matchup. Now, of course, this is the first time these two teams have gotten together since 2008. It was a second-round best-of-seven series back then, but now it is a best-of-five. Brittany and these two teams have to come out swinging right off the opening faceoff. They have to come out swinging, and the way the series is set up is a little unique. It's a home and home and home and home and home. And if you look at the home record for both teams, they both have four wins on home ice, so they've used home ice to their advantage. But both teams are also able to get two wins on the road, too. So it's going to be a toss-up, but hopefully the Ice Hogs will use that home ice on Game 2 on Sunday. Now, over a dozen meetings between the two teams in the regular season. Brittany, who should we keep an eye on going into this playoff series? So for the top scorers for the Ice Hogs, we have Anthony Lewis, who's also the top scorer for the season with the Ice Hogs, but he has eight points with four goals and four assists. Then defenseman Carl Dahlstrom with eight assists, totaling eight points. And then Tyler Secura, our ever popular on the score sheet with seven points in the game or in the series so far. And if you look at the Wolves side. Timu Polkan, and of course, he picked up two goals in each of the last two games between these two clubs. They actually closed out the regular season against each other, but Polkan in nine goals and five assists for 14 points. And you have to keep an eye on TJ Tynan, three goals and seven assists as well for 10 total points in the head to head series. But both of them among the top 20 in the American Hockey League in overall scoring. So those two will be looking to contribute for the Chicago Wolves. And we said the Ice Hogs special teams is definitely going to become a factor, especially with the penalty kill. And Henrik Samuelson leads the Ice Hogs with penalty minutes with 19 and only has five games played against the Chicago Wolves. As the Wolves' Paul Thompson, who is their leading penalty minute player on the team, is with six in the 12 matchups. In fact, when you look at this head-to-head -head series, separate from the rest of the American Hockey League, the penalty minutes certainly spike on average between the two clubs. So you know that emotional control is going to be a major factor going into a big-time series like this one. Emotional control and clean playing. The team needs to be physical. They need to bring that physicality, but they need to be clean about it to kind of stay out of the box. As we said, their penalty kill has been a little iffy as of late, but their power play has been on the upswing. So if Chicago gets in the box, that's completely fine. Now for the Rockford Ice Hogs, Chicago Wolves game one action on Saturday out at Rosemont. And then, of course, the Ice Hogs will welcome in the Wolves for game two of the best of five series coming in on Sunday. Well, that'll do it for this game preview. Make sure to tune in on Saturday for the first game and then come down to the BMO on Sunday for game two of the series.